Good morning, everybody joining. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, everyone coming in. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. I hope everybody's well. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I never know. Do you guys like personal good mornings? Like, do you want me to say your names or do you just like the general good mornings? I never know. Yes, thank God for this day. It's another day. Amen. Okay, we can we can get started. So we are in we are in a new devotional. Um and I guess today is the fourth day of a new devotional. And it says, ooh, my goodness, it went away. Okay. It says Fearless Forever. So it's a new devotional. Um, today is day four. It says Fearless Forever. Um, so this is going to be from Psalms 27. And it's going to be in um, po poem form. So I hope you guys like the, the poetry format. Um, so Psalm 27 1 that's what we're gonna read and then we're gonna go into the poetry of the devotional Psalm 27 1 says the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear okay, and so the devotional says in a world that is held in such deep darkness where the light of truth often seems more of a flicker than a flame in a world where deceit, dishonesty, falsehood, and foolishness divert and distort the lives of so many. In times when a myriad voices say so much about so many things, where confusion seems readily available and clarity seems hard to find. In a world where opinions rise to a place where only truth should be, and every voice seems to get an equal hearing. In the constant cacophony of 10,000 contradictory voices, it is a wonderful and amazing thing to be able to say with rest and confidence, the Lord is my light. My heart has been lit by the illuminating and protective glory of his powerful and transforming grace my mind has been renewed by the luminescent presence of his truth guiding Holy Spirit. And my life has been guided down straight paths by the ever shining lamp of his word. I am not afraid, but it is not because I am strong or wise. I am not afraid, but it is not because I have power or position. I am not afraid but it is not because I have health or wealth. I'm not afraid, but it is not because my circumstances or relationships are easy. I'm not afraid for one glorious reason. I have been lit by the Lord of light. In the darkness of this fallen world, I no longer walk in the night, but I have been given the light of life I am not afraid because light lives in me. The one amazing reality gives me rest. I have been rescued from darkness and transported into the light and I am not afraid. Good morning, everybody just joining in. Good morning, good morning. Um, we're going from Psalms um, chapter 27, verse one. Um, so after reading the devotional, it just reminded me of 
the very hard times that we're in and um, we're dealing with a lot right now and with all that's going on it's hard it's hard to say you're not afraid and it's hard to say um, like the Bible says that our battle isn't against flesh and blood right now because because right now in this world it feels like that that's exactly where our battle is we're dealing with a pandemic um, and we're dealing with systematic oppression that's coming exactly after our flesh and our blood that's coming after our lives and it's hard because each and every single day as more and more happens as we hear more and more news as we as we see more and more things happening we're becoming painfully aware of our mortality and it just seems like the battle is is exactly in the place of flesh and blood it, it doesn't seem like that's not where our battle is um but even though there's so much it, it seems like there's so much to fear and even though it seems like we need to be afraid for our mortality and we need to think about it and worry about it you don't have to fear because the bible literally says that god did not give you a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind i know that i've said this before but it is such an important verse because it it just fits so many different situations um god didn't give you the spirit of fear because he he knows that you don't need to fear he's won every single battle for you as as impossible as each and every situation looks i just want you to know that god has already won the battle he knows exactly what he's doing he he is the god of moving mountains so where it seems impossible and where it seems hopeless and where it seems like we have nowhere to go and it's not going to get any better please be reminded that we have a god who literally moves mountains we have a god who has caused many miracles to happen and and if you think that he's he, he if you might be forgetting or if you think that he's not in the business of doing miracles anymore i just i just want to remind you of some of the miracles that he made happen he he delivered an entire people from slavery under the egyptians he took the israelites out of egypt he delivered them completely and when he was transporting them to their to the land of milk and honey to the promised land and there was no food for them he literally made it rain from the sky he made food rain from the sky like how how crazy does that sound um it in a fiery pit he saved shadrach meshach and abednego and they did not burn at all matter of fact their chains were broken when they were in this fiery furnace and the guards that took them up to the fiery furnace died taking them up there that's to show how hot that was and how that should have been their end but because they stuck with god nothing harmed them and they were let go of their chains. He he helped David to beat Goliath. Those, those were odds that were not in David's favor. David should have lost. In, in real life, David should have lost. And, and, and he helped him to, to beat Goliath. And um, he saved Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel was saved in the lion's den. He, he spent, um, I believe it was just a night in the lion's den. Um, and, and he was unharmed that's unheard of that is unheard of if i was to spend the night in a lion's den it probably wouldn't go that well um he gave abraham and sarah a child well after childbearing age well after childbearing age he promised them a child and they had one because our god is a god who moves mountains when things seem impossible he makes it possible and so just because we don't understand situations and, and maybe we don't understand how it can get better and we don't know what the way out could possibly be, that is also why the Bible says, lean not on your own understanding and trust in the Lord God with all your heart. Lean not on what you can conceive and, and what you can comprehend and, and what you understand. Lean on God. Lean on, lean on the truths in, in his word that show that he always comes through, that shows that he knows what he's doing, that shows that he's working for your good, and he's going to get us to the very best place, I promise you. And, and he is the God of yesterday. 
He's the God of today. He is the God of tomorrow. He remains the same. So if he could do all of those beautiful things for those people, I promise you that he can do the same things for us. He can, he can bring us out of the darkest places. And I understand that there may be some things to fear, but I promise you that if you take it to God in prayer, you will see change. It will get better. I, I'm sure that the Israelites probably didn't think that crying out to God would do much of anything because they were under Pharaoh's rule. They didn't think that God would send them Moses who, who would take them completely out of slavery. They didn't think that maybe their prayers would be answered. Maybe they threw up a prayer here and there and, and they didn't fully believe. But I, I urge each and every single one of you not to just throw up a prayer here and there, but to say your prayers with complete belief and complete trust that God is working for your good, that he's going to take you from, from the fearful place in which you are and bring you to a place of confidence. He's going to bring you to a place of change. He's going to change our world. He's going to change our circumstances and he's going to change what we're co currently going through. So I just wanted to... Um, leave you guys with that i know it was a little short but i just felt like um that was what the the devotional really um spoke to but it also asked us to take a moment and um where is your living limited or diverted by fear where are you living like i i, oh, I don't know i'm limited here Oh, I'm fearful here. Sometimes fear is paralyzing and fear can be shown in many different ways. It might be that you are fearful to take that career move. It might be that you're fearful to enter into that relationship. It might be that you're fearful to apologize to someone because you think they they won't take it. But uh, Fear, fear, don't let it paralyze you. So I, I encourage you all to think about where you're living limited and where you're living fearful. And then it also asks you to um, take, take this question into consideration. When you are tempted to give way to fear, what truths about God do you need to remember? So when you're tempted to allow fear to paralyze you, when you're tempted to allow fear to come in and rule your thoughts and um, keep you down, what truths about God can you remember? And I, I will give you your first one, that God did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of, of a sound mind. So that's one of the very first things that you can remember when you're feeling fearful and when you're fe feeling doubtful and when you're feeling down. Um, so let us enter into a time of prayer. I hope that everyone is doing well, really. I hope that everyone is healthy and um, just taking care of themselves um, mentally and physically. Um, so Lord God, I just want to thank you <clears throat> for this time that we are able to come together and hear a little bit of your word and, and um this time that we can come and spend on you and, and with you, God. I'm just thankful that you give us this time each and every single day. I just want to thank you for another day that we are alive and that we're well and that we are able to, um, to, to make more change and to go through life and to trust in you even more, God. God, I know that sometimes we can have um, a fearful, fearful mind. We can have fearful thoughts and and it's not always the worst thing, God. Help us to have confidence and help us to be strong, but help us to also know that in weakness is when you shine. That's when you're able to show how much we need you and how much we should depend on you and how strong that you are, God. So help people to know that you are always there, ready to help them out, ready to take them um, beyond where they are, God, and help them to have confidence. Help us to have peace and confidence in you, God. Um, I, I just pray for this world, God. I pray that you create change. I pray that you touch hearts. I pray that you enter lives that may have never known you, God. I pray um, that you remove these things from our world that are, that are pretty much killing us off, God. I pray that you just touch our nation and allow us to know that you are there and that you are working. 
Help us to trust in you and your plan and what you're trying to do. And help us to know that we don't have to know everything and we don't have to understand anything, but we can just trust in you, God. Um, and I just want to end with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So I hope that you all have a blessed day, blessed rest of your week into the weekend. Um, I hope, please be safe. Um, everyone be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take your vitamin C. Um, yes, God, please heal our world. Um, and, and just be safe. Make sure you guys are taking um, safety precautions in whatever you do. Um, God bless each and every single one of you. And I will see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>